Um, today we are visiting the Magufuli Bridge, brother. It's another day to explore the city. So it's around 11 a.m. in the morning. It was raining in the morning, but right now the rain is gone. So we are living in a few. I hope you will enjoy this this episode, guys. So it's actually not morning, it's already is it already noon? So we are in town, maybe so we've come with a dala dala to a place called Posta and we are looking for our way to the Magufuli Bridge. Um Posta is right here actually. The white building, the beautiful white building is Posta. There's a nice restaurant over here. Have we had something to eat? We've not. You want to eat? Yes. Or we can come back and eat we after this. Are you sure we won't come back this way? We won't come back this way. We you want to eat? Okay, no food right now. So we're looking for our way to Magufuli Bridge. We are currently at Posta. There are some nice constructions coming up over here. Exim Bank. been stopped by a cop because this is the ministry of foreign affairs we've been stopped by a cop asking us where we come from and where we are going in a friendly way it was nothing hostile so this is poster house this is poster house it should be not a very long journey from here to the bridge i keep being interrupted so yeah Dar es Salaam Serena Hotel. Beautiful. Beautiful.
this side seems to be the side with um ubalozi ubalozi ni embassies with embassies and then here we have upanga road cemetery 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 is there some history behind this ama World War been walking for the last at least 5 minutes 20 minutes 20 we've been walking for 20 minutes no i think it's around 10 i'm at 15 anyway we've been walking and <clears throat> i wasn't sure we are on the right direction but i see the aga khan hospital bridge something like that or it's the hospital itself so that means we are on the right direction cuz the bridge is supposed to bridge the Aga Khan hospital and Coco Beach so mm, not the, not the Aga Khan bridge the Magufuli bridge it is called Magufuli bridge but and the this is Ali Munye Hassan road i know it's called the night bridge This is the Aga Khan hospital um, No see oh. I'm muted Ndio nashinda nikikatakata So we can already see where the bridge starts I had recorded that that part and then I realized okay I was talking and not recording So the bridge starts over here at this round roundabout Why is it not written Tanzanites ways ways why is there nothing showing that it's the Tanzanite bridge Ben Are we supposed to go this way or this way But you can see there's a beautiful beach road here that goes back to Kariako It goes back to Kariako Yes How do you know We've used it before. Thank you. So the Tanzanite bridge, the Tanzanite bridge starts here. I want to see what this 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 stone here is written. And already we can say we are already at the beach because the beach this is the beach. Hakuna mtu anaona. Jiwe la msingi la ujenzi wa daraja jipya la Salenda. Mheshimiwa Dr. John Pombe Joseph Magufuli Rais wa Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania So it's called the New Selanda Bridge So it's called Selanda Bridge Where did Tanzanite Bridge where did the name San Tanzanite come from Am I a different bridge to Zanzibar Yes I yes these are these are ship the, the, the channel is somewhere there So if you use this bridge road that I was telling you, it takes you back to Kariako and back to the Kibukoni area 
where you can go to whatever mm. those sides of town the other there's another place you cross using Kigamboni. Kigamboni. Mm -hmm. we go to the beach mm. let's just cross it this way Mama. okay so we are now starting the bridge so we are starting to cross the bridge so it wasn't far you know i have noticed here people also like they they study you they notice that you're not speaking the same language they are they notice you're a foreigner and then they give you a price that is different from a price they would give a local they do that everywhere anyway even in kenya and they live in the ships in the banga line what i say maliza so this bridge is one kilometer long from here and it goes to coco beach it was constructed in not constructed but it was launched in 2022 so it's around two years three years old no that is two years old because it's been raining, the beach is so dirty. Like all the beach, all the dirt has been deposited on their shores. But this is a beautiful view. Can I take a picture? We are getting closer. We are getting closer and closer. The first time there is a lamb in the air by the air. Kuwa amefufua shirika la uvuvi uvuvi vivo. Tunona beach. When I was looking at this bridge on the photos. I didn't see the pedestrian path, so I was worried how we were going to cross it. But now I see there's a whole pedestrian path that is even that is separate uh, rail. That is rail. Rail. That is separate. That is separated from the road. Yeah. Oh. The bridge so looks looks so beautiful from here. And actually from here you can see the whole bridge from where it starts to where it ends. I'm not sure if the camera is doing any justice to it. I am telling you it's why it's a So once we are on the other side, we will be at Coco Beach. We'll explore Coco Beach a little bit and then after that, where are we going? Masaki. Then we go to Masaki. What is in Masaki? It's a rich area. Where the beach? Ben and Tony are my tour guides. Oh, Guys, I do not need a tour guide. I already have them with yeah. me. Masaki is this area. Missouri. And it is raining again. But it was sana. Aya, now we are on the bridge. Like we are on the bridge. And the da, da, da looks very beautiful from here. Yeah. On this side, you see the city. On this side, you see ships. One kilometer away. We are 
at a place where it's raining but there's no where we can shade ourselves do we say shade ourselves shelter yeah we are at a place where it's raining like in the middle of the bridge but there's nowhere to shelter so we have to enjoy the rain until we get to the end of the bridge but the light at the end of the tunnel rather the good thing is we are experiencing good views and it is peaceful peaceful and relaxing and therapeutic to walk along the bridge so that makes up for the rain the silver lining, the silver lining that's the word i was looking for the silver lining Tunayonanga to cure place uko. There are two cameras, huge cameras here. Is the camera for people like us who are filming or is it for people who are doing crime things? the end of this bridge but i'm telling you guys we are so random we are um, we are so wet like you can see from my glasses and i think from the camera we've been rained on the rain is just getting worse and worse so we are at the end of the bridge we're going to coco beach maybe we'll get something we'll get a shade to shelter ourselves red plates i want so koko beach ko abhi to kafa kanda ibi you have fresh so this is the side with all the embassies and the residents so behind me there was Indonesia there was Denmark and there was Ireland we are already past the bridge we're now heading to Koko Beach which is on seven number five which is on this direction So right now we are walking towards Coco Beach. I'm actually happy that I mean that is why let me mostly about coaching. Coco Beach. Do you like Coco Beach? You see the beach? You see that beach over there? That's Coco Beach. Oyster Bay. So apparently, so apparently this is where the rich hide in Da. One of the areas. One of the areas, of course. It's one of the rich sites of Dar es Salaam. Like clearly you can tell there is less population on this side less, there is less congestion less traffic Coming out of the 
Michelle. It's not coming out of its shell. I'm noticing that the water on this side is very clean compared to that side where we come from. This is the neighborhood. This looks like a place one, one would dive, one would do diving. But it looks like it's rocky on the, on the floor. Most of the buildings on this side are, are embassy residents. Embassy residences. Yeah. So we are finally at Coco Beach. After a long, refreshing walk. Refreshing? That was refreshing. Refreshing. Yeah. I have said refreshing. Oh. You've had... Depressing. No, refreshing. Yeah. This is Coco Beach. And I think we can have lunch here. Yeah. Well, maybe. We'll see. Well, it looks like there are several spots where you can have lunch. Yeah. Yeah. So this side of Da is called Masaki and this is Coco Beach. We're coming to get food and we are hoping to get a prize that is not for tourists or foreigners. Coco Beach Very commercial place Mihogo. Eh, Mihogo. 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 Oh, the beach water is so inviting, and this side is so clean. And then we have some shells being sold over here. No. Coco Beachy. Ah, guys, Coco Beach is so clean. Like the water is so clean. You cannot compare with the other side. That beach that we went on the first day was called Hakuna Matata Beach. It was quite dirty really dirty but this side is so clean i guess they they clean it up because i can see some hips uh dirt over there and even the water is clean ah it feels so nice to be here i know it it feels so nice It feels so nice, so good to be here. 
This is what we've been missing. This is what we've been missing. So there are several places you can buy. There are several places you can buy food. And that makes me remember. That reminds me. I was to buy a fridge magnet. I don't see anyone selling, but it's fridge magnet. The ones that are written in Tanzania. So see, there are restaurants over here. It looks beautiful. But empty. Mani juk na nyesha. Very fresh food. There's a club here called Wavuvi Kempu. Here, it's a cafe, it's a it's a little wooden club. The water is so inviting. Oh, I feel like swimming, but we I don't have any costumes. Any costumes with me? The agenda today was not to swim, but it's so tempting. So this is Coco Beach, Tanzania, and I am enjoying it. Woo! So we are leaving the beach. We are leaving the beach right now. We are going to the Masaki side, which is one of the richest neighborhoods I wanted to show you guys uh, it's on the opposite side like across the road on that side yeah so we'll also be looking for lunch I'm really hungry but these guys keep postponing I guess they're not hungry so I'm hoping I'll be able to convince them that we have lunch here okay. Coco Beach. Oh, this is Coco Beach. When you come here, there's a lot of a lot of food vendors that will try to hustle you into eating at one of their kibandas. The food is fairly priced. Is it? It's a little bit expensive. Some food, some foods are fairly priced. Um, I think it's expensive for kibanda food, but some of it looks delicious. Some of it just looks regular, normal, or maybe they are detecting that we are not from here, and therefore they are hiking the prices for us. But it's generally a good place to come and uh, hang out if you have company. Mm -hmm. touristic place there are so many tourists who come to the beach i guess the prices are just fine okay.